Hi, it's Mika Fasting Weight Loss, and this is my fasting weight loss vlog number 191. I'm doing three forms of fasting. Oh my gosh, I have a piece of gum in my mouth. That's the first, I did have five calories just now. And even though I got caught on camera and I did not plan that, that really is my first calorie I put in my mouth because this gum that I got from an, a health food grocery store, I thought it didn't have calories, but it has five. Okay. I do three methods of fasting. OMAD, which is one meal a day. Intermittent fasting, which is choosing a window to eat. It could be eight hours, six hours, four hours. It could be any hours you want, but it's just the point of it is don't eat all day from you wake up till you go to bed. And I'm doing no food fasting, which I'm on right now. And I think it's my favorite. <laughs> I am trying to figure out what am I going to do as a lifestyle. And I really have no clue. Um, but I know it's going to have some sort of fasting with it. I started 191 days ago at 273.2 pounds. I was 40 years old and 5 foot 9 inches. I have four children, okay? Yesterday, I did not eat again. So I have successfully completed 48 hours and beyond. 11 p.m. last night makes 48 hours. Today, I'm going to talk about triggers. And I'm going to talk about taking the long road versus the short road. Did not eat. I did not exercise. I will give my weight after I talk. <laughs> This is the fourth or fifth time I've made this same video right now this morning. Um, it's just so funny that I'll talk and talk and talk and I'll be like, this is too long or I shouldn't have said that. Whew, it's so funny. Okay. Now, first the quote. So many roads, so many detours, so many choices, so many mistakes. Sarah Jessica Parker well known for Sex in the City, and my personal favorite of hers, Girls Just Want to Have Fun, from 1985 movie with Helen Hunt. Okay, there's so many roads. You could choose. You could take detours, which I've been taking, which is why my, long, my road is so long, because I've taken so many detours, so many setbacks, <laughs> so many choices, she says. So many. Every day you have a choice. The fasting pharmacist had a choice. Go to eat ice cream with her daughter, which is her tradition with her daughter. Um, Iowa mama had a choice. Go eat Mexican food with, um, have a social outing with her husband and another couple. And then she had another choice to go um, watch her grandchildren eat at the restaurant or eat with them. I have choice today. <laughs> I have a date this evening. And my kids are gone. So these are triggers for me. My triggers. And for, for the Fast and Pharmacist and Iowa Mama, I'm going to link their two videos. Hopefully I choose the one where the choices were. It was the last, um, the Fasting Pharmacist, it was her last video. Yes. And Iowa Mama, I watched three yesterday, so I don't know which three it was, but she had two different situations of choices okay and i'm not going to say what their choices were and their choices were different and when you make that choice how do you feel after your choice how did she feel or how did she feel i feel fine when i make my choices except that i gotta tell it on here that's the only thing and <clears throat> because when i have a date this evening i want to eat because it's a special occasion i don't have many outings with anybody and I want to enjoy it fully. If they cancel on me, trigger. I will be highly upset, okay? <laughs> and that will trigger me to go get food because I want to be happy because I'm upset, okay? Um, let's say that wasn't happening. I wasn't going somewhere. Now I have another trigger. My kids are gone. <laughs> My kids were gone last night and they're gone tonight. So... Yesterday, I decided I worked late. I was tired and exhausted. Um, and I ended my evening on a happy note with somebody. Um, so 
man, one person can make you really happy. I'm venting and I'm ranting, ranting again, not venting, but I'm ranting. Um, I'm trying to keep my thoughts together and concise for a shorter video. It's really hard. Um, so let's say if I wasn't going on the date, now I'm home by myself. I'm lonely. I'm remembering I'm by myself. My kids just are not here. Even if I'm here with my kids, we're usually all in our own world a lot of the times, but it's different having a quiet house, knowing you're the only one there. That triggers the thought of food. I want it. I need it. It would be really hard. I'd have to choose food or go to bed because watching TV or something and no food without the kids just doesn't mesh for me yet. Maybe eventually it will. Okay. So I hope a lot of you don't choose this long road I'm, ch I'm choosing um, because if I could go back, <laughs> I feel like I'd rather do what the fast and fat man does. He's getting all his weight off all in one chunk. Then I'll probably work on weights and stuff. Like I really wish that's what I would have did. And of course I could start right here and now and do that, but <clears throat> I'm really still winging it, taking it day by day. It's not the best, okay? I know I'm gonna influence some people to do this crazy mess and take detours and bad and make mistakes um but don't do what i'm doing don't just watch me watch more disciplined people too <laughs> um okay what did i eat nothing no calories no gum nothing um i'm not getting enough water i need to drink more water um exercise i didn't go to the gym i just worked all day long um today i'm about to work all day long and not really i'm gonna work 10 to 6 um God willing. And the gym will be closed at six, which I don't understand that. And I'm not coming home to work out at home. Probably not. I'm going to go out. So that's it for today. Day 199 of my fasting weight loss journey. And now for my weigh in. Exactly, on the dot. That's it. See you tomorrow, God willing. Bye.